Bonjour, good afternoon. Welcome to Moggeson Trail News Live. I'm Corey Whitford. Today is February the 4th, 2021. Joining us on Circle Talks this afternoon is Mr. John Maswagen, the CFN Policy Keeper. Welcome to the program, John. Gotcha, honey. Well, Thank you. Well, me, which. John, uh, can you give us an update? Yes, uh, Corey. Uh, we've been working for the past two months uh, with the Treaty 2, um, working on draft policy for uh, uh, Anishinaabe uh, child and family system that uh, that can work in, in all Treaty 2 nations, um, converting the system, the current system, into a uh, an Anishinaabe Treaty 2 way, and um, it's going to be, it's going to take a while, it's going to take a long time, but it's uh, it's necessary work for, for the children and the families. John, uh, can you tell us how important is the work that you do? The work that uh, that needs to be done is, um, every Indigenous nation in Canada literally knows uh, the current CFS systems within provinces is not working for our people and our children. And um, we have uh, we have to bring our children home. We have to bring our children back to their rightful parents, grandparents, and uh, teach them in the way that the Creator meant for us to raise them. And that's uh, the Anishinaabe way, in the language, in the families, and in the culture. And that's very important because every every nation in in, in Canada says uh, that, that the, our children are our future. In in the case of uh, a lot of Manitoba nations, uh, Manitoba First Nations, our children are locked up with the province, provincial CFS system endorsed by Canada over over the past uh, 30 years. And we need to bring those children back to our communities and teach them the language and teach them the culture and teach them, uh, strengthen the parents as well. The parents need the, uh, as much uh, you, um, preparation and help as possible to, uh, to make them stronger parents. Um, in our in our way, we're supposed to put the parents closer to the kids, not pull them away. So um, that's the approach that uh, that is needed and uh, a, a more culturally appropriate process is what uh, we need to work on. And it's, and it's going to be done, started with uh, the making of a law and eventually will be uh, adopted by all Treaty 2 nations in time. It'll take time, but it, it won't be tomorrow. Okay, and uh, who is a part of the team? Right now, our current uh, legal person, uh, Desiree Dorian from Apaskara Cree Nation. Uh, she's worked on uh, a lot of the CFS system right now. Um, and Derek Nipinak, a former AMC Grand Chief, former Chief of Pine Creek, is uh, the other CFN policy analyst and myself. Uh, we're both CFN policy analysts. And as of yesterday, we were joined by Lois Stahl from Grassy Narrows, Ontario, and uh, she's got 27 years of experience in the CFS process. And uh, Dakota uh, Marsden joined us as well uh, yesterday, and she, um, she's she been in, working in the system as well. So uh, we have, uh, the team is slowly coming together and uh, we need uh, quite a few more uh, staff to anybody out there listening wants to join us and, and help us broaden our knowledge and uh, the work that needs to be done in order to bring our children home is basically what we need to, uh, what's happening. Miigwech, thank you very much, John. Thank you for that update. Thank you, Thank you, Miigwech.